Hi there and welcome to this, the eighth part in a series of videos on PF Sense. And this video is following on from the last about firewalls and we're going to see how to set up rules for our Xboxes or PS4s to give us the best online gaming experience. So let's get started. So, if you've got an Xbox or PS4 and you do online gaming, you may see a message like this when you test your network connection, saying that you have a strict NAT connection. Now, although you can still do online gaming when you've got this situation, you just can't do as much as you could if you had an open NAT. So we're going to see the steps we need to follow in PFSense to change our NAT type to open for the best online gaming experience. OK, so the first thing we need to do is to assign a static IP address to each games console. So for that, the easiest thing to do is go to status and then go to our DHCP leases. And here we can see the Xbox One. And what we need to do is click on this plus button here where it says add static mapping and just give it a name. And then we need to give it an IP address. And I'm going to give it 10.10.20.50 and description games console. And everything else here I'm just going to leave as default and click save and obviously apply changes okay and if I look at my services now and I go to DHCP server if I scroll down I can see that the Xbox is given a static IP address and if you have any other games consoles then just give all of them a static IP address in just the same way and then we need to go across the firewall and we're going to create an alias for the games consoles so click onto aliases and click add and we're going to call this games underscore consoles and the same for the description okay so now we put in the static IP address of the consoles that we assigned earlier so for my Xbox one it's 10.10.20.50 and of course for the description will be Xbox one and if we had another console we would just click add host and add a second console so maybe we had a second Xbox one well, I've got a PS4, so I'm going to add that. And then click Save and apply changes. OK, so now we've got our aliases set up here for the games consoles. The next thing we need to do is go back onto Firewall and we want to go to NAT. And we want to go across here to Outbound. And we can see at the moment it's set on Automatic Outbound NAT Rule Generation. Now what we want to do is actually put it onto Hybrid Outbound NAT Rule Generation and click Save and apply changes. Now we want to click on to add to add a new mapping and we want to leave the interface as WAN and the protocol any. Then under network we're going to type in our alias and for the network type forward slash 32. Then if we scroll down a little we need to check static port here and for the rule I'm going to call it games console online play and click save and apply changes. OK, so now that's been done, we need to enable UPnP or Universal Plug and Play. So let's go to Services and then UPnP. So check Enable UPnP and allow UPnP port mapping and allow NAT to PnP port mapping. For the external interface, we want to keep that onto WAN. And then our interfaces here, choose the interface that your games consoles are on. Now what we want to do is we want to check here the default deny. So what this will do is deny access for all devices to UPnP, except for the ones which we're going to specify here. OK, so now we're going to add our games consoles into the ACL entries here. So the first thing we need to do is type the word allow and then a space and then the port range that we want UPnP to allow to go through. And for our use case, we're going to use 53 through to 65535. And then we want to put a space and then we put the IP address of our games console. And my Xbox One is 10.10.20.50. Now, unfortunately, we can't use aliases in the UPnP access control list. 
So any games console we need to put in one at a time manually. So after we put in our IP IP address, we need to put a forward slash and a 32. Now this forward slash 32 just means a single host, as opposed to what we can see at the top here. In the example, the forward slash 24, forward slash 24 means a network of 256 addresses. So we want to use forward slash 32. Then again, after the IP address, we need to put a space and then put the port range again. So now as I have a second console, which is a PS4, I need to click on to add. And I'm going to do exactly the same as here. But I'm using the IP address 10.10.20.51. So put in all your games consoles here. And when you're done, just go down to the bottom and click on to save. Now this will be enough to give you hopefully an open NAT and allow you to do your online gaming. But there's one extra thing to do if we have multiple games consoles and we're playing online and we want to play the same online game together. So say we've got two Xboxes and both of them are connected to Xbox Live and you want to play a game of Rocket League together. For having multiple games consoles working together and being able to play together, we also need to enable NAT reflection. Now if you saw the earlier video on firewall rules, you'll remember when I enabled the NAT reflection, I was able to actually access my MB server using the WAN address from inside the LAN. And this is exactly the same here. So one Xbox can access the other Xbox through the WAN address even though they're on the same LAN. So for multiple Xboxes on the same network, if you want to play together online, then you are going to have to enable NAT reflection. And to do this, we need to go to System, and then Advanced, Firewall and NAT, and then scroll down until we come to Network Address Translation. And then we want to change the default mode from Disabled to Pure NAT, and we want to check Enable Automatic Outbound NAT for reflection here. And then scroll down and click Save. So now this should allow you to use multiple Xboxes or PS4s online gaming together on the same network. So just one last thing to do before we go, just reboot your games console, and then on PFSense go to Diagnostics, and then go to States, and click on Reset States. Check this tick box here, and then click on to Reset, and OK. You'll find this may well freeze the web UI, so when you're done, just click back onto the main PFSense logo here, and with the States reset, you should be ready to go. So that brings us to the end of this video. Now for you guys that have PFSense and games consoles, I hope this was useful for you. And for those that don't, well, I hope it was at least a little bit interesting. So if it was, then please just take a moment to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then please subscribe to the channel. And I just wanna give a really big thanks to all of my Patreons and supporters who make these videos possible. You guys are most certainly awesome. Anyway guys, it's time for me to go now, so whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.